he gets killed by the thing. I, I can't even say the female thing because I honestly don't want to say that's female. There's one scene that makes me honestly think that she's not a female. That's not a female. I'm calling that the thing. The she Hulk. She he Hulk. Like, I don't know what to name her because there was a sex scene in there between Owen and Abby. And let me tell you something. Now I've been, I, I, I've been a kid. I've been a young little growing boy. I've seen some movies, some shows, and then they just threw in a sex scene there. And you know, I had to awkwardly watch it with my parents, but this was the first time I was watching that scene. And I'm like, I'm not explaining. It. It's just like, I was, I was watching. I'm like, bro, this can't be happening. Bro, what is this? What is this foolishness that I'm looking at? Like, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm like, you're telling me that there's certain people, there's a team of people that combined it, coded, made 3D models, animated, and even polished this scene of Owen and Abby having sex. No, that, that strike two. First one was strike. First one, the, your first strike was Joel's death and how it happened. And the fact that I had to wait all the way until the end or towards the end to even understand why you did it. That strike one, that should be two strikes right there, but we're gonna, we're gonna let you slide. But strike one, strike two, I should say strike two is having Abby as even a character. I I'll let you slide again. Strike two by just having that, that scene. I don't know. You took an L. You take, you've taken many L's in this game, but that's strike two. Now. I mean, you have a gay ass character like Abby. You have a gay ass transsexual, transgender looking character as Abby, a lesbian who's a, honestly a pimp like Ellie. And of course the game comes out in Pride Month. Of course, here is the cream of the crop. Here is the icing on the cake. Here is the cherry on top, the ending. Now with the ending, what happens is I I honestly don't know how it led up to this, but um before we saw actually no before we talk about the ending, let's look at one of the scenes in the middle. So towards the middle, um Tommy, Jesse, Dina, and Ellie are locked up or not locked up, but they stay in like a theater. I think it looks like a theater. They stay in this theater, and then um Abby Abby's brick built Tonka truck head ass and her friend, which I'm a fucking called Timo. So Abby and Timo. They decide, yo, let's run up on them. Or Abby wants to run up on them and Timo follows. So, um, you know, she finds Tommy. Tommy's sitting there like, yo, I can't wait to show Ellie this. Blah, blah, blah. Forgot what he was doing. And that's when Abby was like, yo, put your hands up and get on your knees. You about to suck this. Anyways, he tell, she tells her, he tells him, you know, you know, he gets on the floor or whatever. And then Ellie and Jesse pops in like buses down the door and you know what bro they bust down the door and then abby the quick scoping god herself apparently apparently she's been in those modern warfare 2 street she's been in those csgo competitive lobbies she's in those global ranges instantly snaps and pops one right into jesse he on the floor he's dead you can even hear ellie saying oh my god like jesse he literally just died in front of her. But as soon as she popped one into Jesse, and then Abby was like, yo, put the gun down, shooting him as well, pointing to Tom. And then I'm pretty sure Ellie is just freaking out behind the table. And then Abby's like, yo, put the gun down, or else I'm popping a cap in him. And then Ellie was like, aye, aye, bet, bet, bet. Puts the gun down, stands up with her hands up. And then I think, I forgot exactly what happens. I think either Ellie just runs away. I think Ellie ends up running away. And then Abby, instead of, I don't know, cuffing him or, tying him to like a pole or something and just turns around just shoots tommy in the head and runs after ellie and i'm i'm sitting there like wow so you just killed off two characters just like that are you dead ass that should be strike three right there but you know what i'm a nice person so she runs after ellie and by this time by this time in the story you're supposed to hate abby because of what she did with joel to joel you're supposed to hate abby but guess what they have you doing they have you play as abby to try to kill Ellie. <sighs> that should be strike three. That should be strike three right there, bro. But it's not going to be. But that should be strike fucking three. 
anyways so you go you play a little ring around the rosy and you get up to ellie so at the last like moment when you catch her you pin her to the ground and you deck her fucking chin like three times a hey yo what the what? I honestly, Ellie must have a strong ass chin because have you seen how Abby is built? Like, I, I can I'm gonna hit on the character all, all I want to, but Abby got some muscles. That Captain America looking ass body has some muscles, all right? Anyways, she was decking the shit out of Ellie. Ellie's on the floor just dazed. And then Dina comes out of nowhere with a knife, starts slashing God, towards God, Abby. God, I think Abby. What are you doing? I don't know if Abby got cut, doesn't matter or not, but Abby grabs Dina and then slams her face into the floor. And then she grabs Dina and then puts the knife to her and then Ellie on the floor. Notice Ellie is not even grabbing a gun or anything. Ellie's literally like about to cry. She's like, please leave her alone. She's pregnant. So Abby just got done slamming the face of Ellie's basically, basically Ellie's wife who is pregnant. Three, she just got finished doing that. And Ellie's like, please just leave her alone. She's pregnant. And Abby's like, good. And then you see her about to cut her. And then Timo is like, Abby, work. My nigga, I know you're not. I know you're not about to cut up a pregnant woman. You fucking, you fucking dumb. So then Abby's like, I right, fine. And then they leave. I think they left. So now that you got that into your head, time to think about. Time to now go over the ending, the overall ending. So the final boss or the final area, you go to this beach and you see Abby lynch. I, I think she was lynched. I don't, I don't fucking know, but she's tied up to like a pole. She's tied up to this pole and then Ellie sees her. Ellie has about three guns on her. I think I counted. It's probably like four weapons on her, three guns and a knife. She sees Abby. Abby even looks at her and says, oh, sh it's you. And you know what Ellie does? Ellie then cuts the rope, letting Abby free. So I'm like, I, 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 whatever whatever sure then abby goes frees her friend timo who was also kidnapped and then they walk off to the beach or they walk off to like the water where there was actually coincidentally two boats so abby takes her friend timo puts her in the other, in one of the boats abby and ellie ellie goes to the other boat puts her bag down put her her weapon put her put, <laughs> she puts her bag down and she puts her weapons down so i'm like oh okay and then a flash of um joel's corpse flashes through ellie's mind then she turns around and goes towards abby and it's like yo i can't let you leave and then abby's like please no don't do this then ellie grabs her pushes her down it's like nah nigga we we scrapping right now and then abby's like i don't want to fight you i'm sitting there watching it and i'm like I'm, it wasn't, I wasn't mad at this point, not this part yet. I'm, I wasn't mad at this part, but I was sitting there like, what is it, what is about to happen? Oh, well, I knew what was going to happen, but I was like thinking, what was actually going to happen? Ellie points a knife at Timo and it's like, yo, if you don't fight me, I'm cutting this nigga up. And then Abby's like, all right, fine, I'm going to fight you. And I was, since Abby was lynched, I thought that she was going to have no strength left. So I thought it was going to be like, easy class for Ellie just ran up and body slammed not body slammed but she bodied Ellie into the water I was like yo what the hell where did you get this strength from but she bodies Ellie into the water and then you know the fight happens you know they're going back and forth Ellie is cutting the shit out of Abby and I don't know how Abby is still kicking and then Abby and I think there was one part in the fight where Ellie puts her in like a chokehold or whatever. And I'm honestly thinking, I'm like, how is Ellie actually beating the shit out of Abby right now? But Ellie puts her yeah, in a chokehold and yeah, Abby just, hey, hey, yeah, just like, Sam, like, bites off, bites off her um, pinky and her, in, and her ring finger, clean off, spits him into the water. Ellie's just on her, Ellie's just pushing her down, pushing her down, pushing her down. And then you can feel Abby's, you can see Abby's like slowly stopping to resist. And then she's still for a moment. And another, another flashback of um, goes into Ellie's mind. She sees Joe's corpse one more time. And then you know what she did? She let go. She 
fucking let go. She had the perfect opportunity to kill the person that killed her father, killed her best friend, killed her, basically her uncle, who almost murdered her wife and kid. She had all, she had the opportunity to do all that. It was right in her grasp. Actually, no. All she had to do was continue pushing, just continue p applying pressure. But no, she let go. Abby gets up, goes over to the boat, and I think they go away. And guess what? That's strike three. This game is out.